Our next assignment is called Intro. So you want to go to your Google Drive and open up a new slides uh, file. And then no, step two says notice in the navigation panel you have one slide. It defaults to one slide and it's this type of slide. So this whole assignment is about using the pre-made slides that they have for you. So it says put next to the plus sign. If you just put the plus sign and you get another one of the slides that is selected there. So you don't want to put the plus sign because we want a different kind of slide. So it says click next to the plus sign and add a specific type of new slide. So it's right there. And you'll see that we have several pre-made slides available to you. We want to add a title and body slide, which is right here. And please make sure that you're doing these all in order because part of the assignment is getting the right kind of slide and getting them in the right order. Okay? And then uh, the next assignment, the next step, number four says add another new slide, but add a title and two column slides. So again, next to the X, and you want a title and two columns slide. Step five says add a new slide, but add a caption slide, which is right over here. And then add another new slide, but add it to blank slide. Okay, so now you should have five slides, and they're not all the same kind of slide. Okay, now go back up here and click on the first slide. And on slide one, it says click where it says click to add title, and then type in intro, which is the name of the assignment. Okay, and then it says click in the box that says click to add subtitle, right down here. And then type learn to use pre-made slides. Okay, and we're done with slide one. So go ahead and click on slide two and click where it says click to add title and type slide two. And then in the box it says click to add text. This is where you would put your information. So whatever you would really be doing this about, you would type your information in there. <clears throat> so we're just going to type in this box. This slide would be used for a title and for information. Okay, and of course you do need a period at the end of that. Okay, and that's all we're doing on slide two. Go ahead and click on slide three and see that this would be used to compare two items. So if you, if I was comparing my two uh, black labs, I'd probably put their names up here and then I put a picture of one of them here or a picture of one of them there. Or I could tell about the first one or tell about the text about the second one. We are going to go kind of as a review of our first assignment and we're going to put pictures in there instead. Okay. So it says enter a title into the top box. So what I'm going to put um, Bailey and Boaz, which are my two black labs. And then I could, as I said, tell you about each one. But instead, let's click in the second box and click on the side of the box and then hit delete on your keyboard to make that box go away. The reason why we're doing that is the picture that we're going to put in will not go in that box. So we don't want to have that box sticking out around the edges. How you put a picture in, this is a review, go to insert, image, and if you have an image, you would go find your image. But we're just going to go to search, and we're going to put black lab. And I don't have pictures of my two dogs, but when she was a puppy, she looked kind of like that. So I'm going to click on it, click select. And it's going to come in too big and not centered over there. So you want to know how to grab it and make it a little smaller and move it over. So we could say that's kind of like what my uh, first black lab looks like. I'm going to click on the second one, click on the side, and then hit delete. And we need to put in a second uh, image. So we're going to do black lab again. Let's just say that's what my other one looks like. And it's too big. You need to make that a little bit smaller. So it's like you're comparing two things. So you could be doing this about comparing tacos and pizza, or the Broncos and the Seahawks. Okay, but you're gonna put a title up there. 
delete those boxes because that's tacky. Leave the box that says click here and put in a picture instead. All right, we're done with slide three. Go on to slide four. It says click on slide four and then click on where it says click to add text and type in learn to add shapes. Okay, and then if you go up here and you click click so that you don't still have that selected, click on the slide, and then go up to insert, go down here to shape, and it says to click on arrows, and you can pick any of these arrows, let's say we're just picking this one, now how do I get my arrow in there, just click and hold your mouse and draw your arrow, and let go, and that's as easy as it is uh, to put a shape on your slide. And last one says click on slide five. And this is a blank slide. There's nothing, there's no place markers here. We need to add a text box. So go to insert, add text box. And just like you did with the shape, click and hold to draw your text box. And all you're going to put in there is your first and last name. Of course, you should capitalize those. And that's how you add a text box. Okay, now you need to go up to untitled presentation because that's a terrible name. And you're going to put in your last name. And then the name of the assignment, which is intro. And that's going to save automatically because you're already in your Google Drive and your file cabinet. And then remember to go into Classroom and turn this in.